What is up, everybody? Bobby here, the Nintendo Guru, and listen, here's where we go. Nintendo Guru Daily. We're just going to jump right into this. Some crazy news went down last night. So, I was kind of minding my business. Just minding my business, and some stuff started getting thrown in my lap. Um, I don't want to really discuss or say where I got the news, or exactly what parts of the news I got and didn't get, um, just because I feel like it's not my place. But I will say that a lot of the stuff that you guys were hearing last night, I got a lot of validation from that and blows me away what I was seeing. First things first, we're going to talk about Persona 5. Later this month, we're going to get a basically some type of news from Atlas talking about Persona 5. And word is it's coming to the Nintendo Switch. Basically, it's coming off of leaks from Best Buy. Uh, last night, very early, well, not very early, it was either actually kind of late, but in the early goings of all this, uh, Wario64 was putting out all these different tweets and stuff, and in that, Nin Mobile News then grabbed a clip of that, some portions of that, and then wrote an article up and, and kind of worked together in that whole thing, and then Nin Mobile News, don't know where they got this information from, but... Nin Mobile News got pictures stating basically screenshots of things that validated a lot of what was being talked about. Uh, these pictures were exclusive that they got out and, and ahead of and all that stuff. Again, I'm not sure where they got them from. It's it's pretty pretty uh pretty spectacular. I don't know where they came from. But anyway, um so that said, the thing of it is is you have these pictures that are screenshots, and I'm going to flash these up and show these now, as you can see. But the screenshots are essentially Best Buy's terminal. Best Buy's system showing that, like, Persona 5 is coming to the Nintendo Switch. This is unbelievable. I feel like whenever this game gets launched for the Switch, we're going to get it followed up by Joker coming to Smash. I think it's going to coincide together, or at least later this month... We'll hear about Joker coming to Smash and, and it being official, the date. Kind of interesting news, kind of cool. I'm very hyped about all of this. Um, this news is coming on. And I'm going to just keep pushing forward a little bit. Uh, the second thing in the, all this piece of the pie was Metroid Prime Trilogy coming to Switch. Now, we've heard this for a very long time, for months. It was supposed to be rumored to be announced and showcased at the Game Awards. Never happened. And Metroid fans absolutely lost their minds. What up, Joey Tires? They lost their minds and were really upset about this news not coming out. And didn't happen, just, just fell apart. But now we're getting these rumors again. Again, we're going to put a pin in this because there's more to this story. Because you know, all these rumors are coming out of Best Buy. Someone at Best Buy is leaking this information. The third piece of the puzzle is The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Are you fucking kidding me this is my all-time favorite zelda game ever this blows away every zelda game for me this is the perfect zelda game for me i am hyped through the roof for this thing if this is true i will lose my mind so here's the thing about a month ago i follow this uh this guy on instagram and he posted he, he what he does is he he photoshops and takes liberties with a lot of titles and putting them on the Switch and what they would look like and doing like a screenshot. And he posted this picture of like box art of Link to the Past as well as an HD render of what it could potentially look like with the Joy-Cons and all that. You can see the picture right here. I'm showing it to you. Man, I lost my mind when I saw that because I was like, could this be? Could this be a, a reality? This would be amazing. Now, if you go back and rewind some time, right? When Link Between Worlds came out, just previous to that, they were working on, a, not a sequel, a remaster, a remake of Link to the Past. And then Alnuma said during that, he was just like, why don't we just basically take the map we have and just make a new Zelda game? And that's what they did. But the idea of like them finishing what they started and making an HD remastered remake whatever you want to call it, however you want to word it, of A Link to the Past, man, I would be so excited. It feels like, and what I'm hearing is, 
everything Zelda is starting to make its way to the Switch. And this is awesome. This is this is good. This is what we want. We want option to play these old classics. But I love the fact of like we're taking a game that is so good and so near and dear to me. And we're going to go, okay, let's go. Here it comes. Let's go. And they're putting it out there for everybody to get their hands on. But in a, in a stylized, a fantastic way. And I am hyped for this. I hope this is true. Um, and I believe it is true. I really do. From, from the things that I'm seeing and the things that I'm hearing and the, and the insight that I'm getting from around the, you know, I don't want to say the world, but around the internet, the, the, the insight that's coming to me, never before has there been a hype like this and, and a buzz and so many, like, secrets being spilled, so to speak, for lack of a better term. I think A Link to the Past, I think that, um, Metroid Prime Trilogy, those are things that they would save for E3 because they're big home run moments. And I think right now, something where Nintendo just kind of steps back, doesn't leak it, doesn't show it, and waits until the time when this thing happens. And when this happens, I think it's going to blow the roof off the internet because once it's official, it's legit. Like right now, everybody's excited, but that's because it's the potential. Could be, won't be, maybe it is, maybe it's not. So if this all comes up and explodes, happy times for a lot of people. For me, I'm, I'm, be careful, cause I'm. You're gonna hear me wherever you live. You will hear this p, this little, this little girl scream from from the distance. You're like, what? What is that? What is that noise? Oh, that's Bobby. That's Bob. That's Bobby. He's excited. That's gonna be me. So Destructoid today was talking about there's some more issues with the Final Fantasy VII Remake. They're basically retooling the team. Man, this this game is in development nightmare. Um, this game was announced a couple years ago, almost four years ago, three, four years ago now. And we've heard nothing else about it. They they Square Enix, they pushed to get Kingdom Hearts out. They pushed to get Final Fantasy XV out. They're pushing to get Dragon Quest XI out in the States now. For this game to be in development nightmare, it feels like this is just the, the name of that tune. What happens with Square right now? It's like Square cannot get these big, massive games out and get them fixed and get them done. And this is just another thing that we're looking at where we're looking at delays and we're looking at what is happening. Like Kingdom Hearts was 10 years. Could this game wind up being a 10 year development? I mean, we should potentially be at the end of whatever. They're not even doing the entire game. It's broken down into chapters. So almost like each disc gets its own game. So you would buy the game and then you would play disc one. And then you have to wait for disc two to come out and disc three. So the fact of like, you're not even doing the entire game. You're only doing a portion of the game. Why in the world? Would you not have this game near complete? And why would you be having development issues now where you're retooling and changing up the team? Doesn't make sense to me. And I feel like this is bad news. Really bad news for Square Enix. Um, even better news for the fact of like, we might not see this thing for, I would say another two, three years. Easily. Easily. And that's scary to think. Like there was a time a year ago that people were actually talking and, and asking Square, like, is this going to come to the Switch? And I don't even think, man, they got to start asking, is this game coming out at all? This is scary for, for Final Fantasy fans and Final Fantasy VII fans that when they saw that trailer, got so excited because I'm not sure this is going to happen now. Fingers crossed it does. So that is all. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Nintendo Guru Daily. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please slap the like button down below. Share it with your friends. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'm begging you. Follow me, Instagram, Twitter, at Nintendo Gurus. That is all. Uh, peace out, Preston.